Welcome back guys. So with everything that's happened, we are pretty much done with the game's logic. Um, this is the game's state service right now and it's taking care of everything. Uh, right now all the buttons are lit up. Now the only thing that we have to do left is um, to actually display information to the player because Right now, um, you can play the game. Uh, let's see what what's the it's blue and green. So blue, then green, <coughs> and it depends to the thing. So blue, green, green, and then the Simon Ray <coughs> gets longer. So the game is playable, but uh, we actually have to display the information to the player, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, there's actually a small logical, um, thing that I forgot, and let me see where it is, it's right here. So, generate Simon, I forgot to, uh, set the Simon array, or reset it to an empty array, so this.simon equals to empty array, and that's for restarting the game. Um, when you restart the game, it it'll keep the same array and it'll just add on to the end of it. Uh, setting it to nothing will make sure that it's reset it correctly. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is... Let's see, where is it? In... It's actually... Um, man, I forgot where everything is. Hold on. Okay, it's this one. So we're subscribing to the state, and right now we're just console logging it. But we actually want to store some of the properties inside of the component. Um, so, for instance, we want the count, which is going to be a number. Um, yeah. And here we're going to do this dot count equals to state dot count. And this is so that we could output it in here. I'm just gonna make a p tag. Uh, it could be anything. And we're just gonna put the count here. And that is tiny. Okay, let's uh, uh let's just do some quick styling of. Uh, let's go with to run. That's good enough. All right, so the number is outputted, and now we could actually, or the player knows what level they are on. Um, let's uh, let's put all these styles into here really quick. So P is gonna be font size of two rem, and then flex. Center, I also want to align items. Items to. Let's go with. Center. I think that's right. No. What about. Baseline? That looks. That looks alright. <clears throat> that's enough for that. And I uh, can get rid of this now. Yep. Okay. And let's see. What else was I going to do? All right. So now we're displaying the count. So that <coughs> allows the player to know what level they're on. So we're still console logging. So I could actually check. So Simon right now is red and blue. So red, blue. And then <coughs> the count goes up a number. Red, blue, and what's the last color? Blue. And then red, blue, blue, green. So the count goes up. Perfect. Now we just need to change this active into an input. And you don't have to do this part, but um, I like to put them in order so all the inputs 
on top and then the outputs on the bottom. Um, Let's see, so active is being displayed here, which is correct. And it is defaults to false, please. Cool. And then in our application, we <clears throat> just need to add in the active all over here. So active equals to a uh, property. So I'm gonna make it all listen in and we're gonna um we're gonna store in that. Um let's let's store in a property called color. Colors. Alright. So that should break actually because colors don't doesn't exist yet. Okay, I guess not. It's odd. Anyways, um, so now we need a colors property. And it's going to be a type any for now. So let's see. Colors. This one's going to be dot red. Dot blue. Dot green. Dot yellow. Okay. And let's see. Yep, now it's broken. That's correct. Um so here is actually gonna be colors is gonna be an object. Dot red, blue, green, yellow. And we're just going to make all of it false. There we go. Cool. And this is what we're going to do to display the, the colors. Uh, so, uh, let's do a. Um, we're just going to make a function called tease player. And this is going to take in the Simon array. So Simon string array. And we should do a simple for loop. So um, let i equals to 0. i is less than Simon dot lay. I plus plus, and then um, do 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 do. Simon, I. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna check Simon at I, and that'll give us the color back of whatever's inside of the Simon array, and since they're all strings. And all the strings are the same as the colors um, property. We could actually do a little shorthand. So we're going to do this dot colors accessing the property of Simon at I, which is like red, blue stuff. So this dot colors dot Simon equals to true and let's see generate Simon so in the subscribe <clears throat> whenever the state is updated we're gonna do we're gonna tease the player of using the Simon so we're gonna do this dot tease player with this or no not this state dot Simon and there we go so 
Now we just need to be able to turn off the colors in a certain amount of time. Um, I'm going to be right back really quick. Alright, so with the tease player, we're just turning on the the active state to be true. And it's just, uh, this is a very good example, so let's keep refreshing. Alright, so it's just on and you don't really know the order. So instead, we're going to wait. Um, so we're going to wait a, a, a little bit under a second and then turn it off. Then to do that, we're just going to create a helper function that we're going to call sleep. And it is going to be an async function that takes in time and returns us a promise. So promise needs a resolve. And we're going to use set timeout to resolve it and passing in the time from this time. And save. I don't like the spacing of this, so I'm going to do that. Return here. And there we go. And then in here, we're just going to import sleep. Sleep import and we're gonna sleep for half a second make sure sleep is in the right place okay and then we're gonna turn off the color Simon I equals a false and then we're also gonna sleep for a fifth of a second um, this is so that uh, consecutive colors don't um, don't seem like one long color um, yeah, so it shouldn't be too confusing, but let's refresh and try it. And I forgot to actually make this an async function. Since we're using promises, we need to wait for the promise to finish. Alright, so, blue, good. Now it's, um, going a little crazy, but that's because it's using the tease player method every time the the subscriber or the state updates. So instead, we're only going to do it when the count changes. So this dot count is not equals to state dot count. And put that there. See that should be right. Let's let's try that. So green, 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 blue, green, green, blue, red. All right, cool. So now we are uh, practically done. Everything is showing up. Um, we don't have a win state of when this reaches 20. Uh, we could easily put that in later. And we're actually not displaying um, a message saying when we do a wrong move. But those are simple fixes, and I think I'm actually going to leave that to you guys to do. Because um, it shouldn't be too hard. I um, also would like a start button to you know, re-tease the player because I don't know what oops wrong button don't know what the state is right now so let's give it a check it is green green blue red yellow green green blue red yellow alright and with that I am done with this tutorial series. I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick commit right now. So git status commit, commit um, oops, display information asynchronous Wait. 
Alright. I'll see you guys next time with uh something else, something different. Alright.